Alrighty folks, welcome back to another vlog of Behind the Badge with Stephen Smith here from tctsgroup.com TCTS Ireland Compliance Project Global Software and Hollyhead Transport Hub Anyway, we are down here in, where are we today? We're in Dundalk, we're just back from clients in Roscommon pulled in here to Dundalk to speak with another couple of um, possible new clients for both TCTS Group, TCTS Ireland and Hollyhead Transport Hub So. We'll see if we can put a vlog together this time that's um, not all over the place, but I can't promise you because I was on two absolutely fantastic sites yesterday in Roscommon and the day before in County Calvin. And the guys follow us on social media, they watch our YouTube channel, they know what we do. And I had asked them about getting a bit of footage and they said absolutely no problem, but I forgot all about it because Yes, I had the GoPro and all with me, but it was just so interesting. So I was trying to get that footage to give back to people, to show people what we see every day of the week. But um, it's just, it was just fantastic. One recycling company, a very, very interesting, and very much innovative. The systems and control measures they have, the equipment, the plant. Um, yeah, I got too excited looking at it. But we'll try and bring you this content if we can. It's just not always, always that easy. So we're parked in here beside Moffat and we have a meeting here to jump into at quarter past 11 and then we're back up the road to County Fermanagh. So, hmm, stand by. <laughs> Alrighty, folks, good morning. Um, 6.45 and we're just heading our way to HQ. Two meetings at HQ this morning early and then down to Enniskillen to our Enniskillen office Our Enniskillen offices to meet with the team and it'll be all day back-to-back -back meetings on a Monday So yeah, they have to be done unfortunately uh, operational meetings um, Staff meetings one-to-ones and we will do what we have to do Anyways, that is the plan people always People are asking about more or less more of the day in the life, the things that we deal with. And as I said at the very start of the channel, years and years ago when we were doing videos, is that the type of work that we do, um, it's so confidential that we can't put much up, <clears throat> especially in regards of our investigation work, our court work, our public inquiries, rent chambers, hearings. So because it's such a big part of the business, um, I think we're gonna have to start sharing a good bit of it. The only thing I don't want there's two things that I don't want. First is that there's companies we could be working with who are going to possibly a public inquiry or an in-chambers hearing or a uh, court or whatever it is. And I don't want people seeing who we're with and then presume that this is a complete bent illegal operator or business. A lot of the time actually we end up going to the likes of public inquiries all because of certain people within the business. And I think that's more what I like to highlight. The fact that, you know, people go in such as maybe a transport manager who is fully uh, incompetent and incapable, or again, a director within the business, whether it's an MD or a operations director or a finance director, and they bring the comp company or business into, into disrepute. A lot of the times we go to court because of drivers, issues that drivers have, have issues that they have um, accumulated, being stopped on the roadside, their incompetence, their incapability, their stupidity, and then they tiddle up the road for five p an hour more. Then you have the other side of the coin where you have drivers who are pushed to the limits and beyond the limits because of the, again, the incompetence of the business itself, <coughs> transport management or the operations management or the sales or the planning. So um, yeah, we're gonna start bringing that stuff to you as best we can because I have a number of operators ask me over the years after we've done something why didn't you put that up on your YouTube channel and out of just pure professional respect we don't to companies because that's the way I have seen it and I have thought however having said that if I could get a channel in which I could see this information and I could learn this stuff because we are the only company that dominate this sector throughout the UK and Ireland and you know we are one of the main educators the main training providers in this field so we have to give that information back so <clears throat> although we are we train people in this 
again we give away a lot of free content which we have no problem doing um, the only problem I have is people take up wee crumbs of it and then run with it and the next thing they're transport consultants and they're professionals and they're telegraph analysts and they're all this fake examiners and forensic testers and health and safety professionals and you know they take up a tiny wee bit of it and nothing really happens from that so I'm just on my way down <clears throat> way to HQ um, one, of the, one of the meetings this morning actually uh, one that I can't take because it's with uh, it's with the APA virus, which is an authorised associate provider. If you don't know what that is, guys, then you haven't been following us. An APA is an authorised associate provider and agent within the TCTS group. You're a part of our overall team. Um, it's part of a franchisee or associate and a partner program. And we have three different levels of it, three different types of it. Some are associates, some are partners, some are just agents. So. When I say just agents, what I mean is they're just reselling the brand or reselling our product. We have a lot of products in the market, within the marketplace, that a lot of people do not know are associated with TCTS Group. There's other businesses that we have and systems and processes and products that we have developed and created and sold out to the marketplace under other names, under different names, and we've partnered up with people. But from my point of view, from an investor point of view, that's just the way we do it. So I'm not even sure if you can see me this morning guys in this in this vehicle. So let's get this done. Let's get it out. Let's get it banged out. Uh, two meetings, bang bang, straight down in the scale and hopefully our team, our operational team will be waiting on me. Um, they'll have all their prep done, all ready to go. And then I'll walk in, chair the meeting, get everything we need to sort out, get them the answers they need to get. And remember guys, and anybody who follows us on your ability through our coaching company called Shadow, you have to remember that from a business point of view, you bring in people not to do tasks, you bring in people to buy back time. And this is why so much of us, so many of us in business, struggle to recruit the right people because they're very, very limited within this world. The right people, the skill set, the ability, the competency um, is very, very short. And I had a conversation on Saturday actually for a podcast that's coming up that I was invited on. And we talked about this happening, the conversation went round. And one of the things I said to them is, you, know, you just have to look at the likes of LinkedIn. Uh, I might have said this before on the channel. The likes of LinkedIn is a perfect example. You have somebody and they jump pillar to post, job to job to job to job to job to job. And they've got a big post up and they're all delighted and happy that they go into this particular company. And then they go to that company and then within seconds from that company, maybe a couple of weeks, a couple of days, they're gone from that company and then they're mouthing and slabbering about it. and. It's just unreal. So it's just unreal how you know how they jump from pillar to post. Remember, guys, without ten thousand hours, you are not a professional in any way. You must have on block of ten thousand hours to become any way credible or professional in your field. And ten thousand hours isn't a lot of hours. You know, when people say, "Well, I work for this company and that company and massive company and small companies," and I was involved. And you know, in my opinion, people move businesses businesses don't move people so you need your people but you need the right people you guess that busy right forward Alrighty folks, good morning. We are back here in the UK, back in GB. Number of client meetings this morning for service review meetings, compliance meetings, health and safety, and they're all review meetings with their senior board and senior leadership team to ensure that they have the systems and control measures in place to protect their business and livelihood. That's what it's all about. So yeah, damn long week as uh, usual, and we'll get these out of the way. Um, I'm um, just outside the, where am I today, travel lodge. 
Yeah, just outside of travel as you get in the day, waiting for one of our guys to come lift me. And then we'll go down on the site. Uh, from that there, we'll meet, may pop in with some of our team who are doing interviews this week in GB for transport compliance officers, international transport managers, head and safety officers, head of training, head of compliance. Um, I think there's an operations manager post maybe. Uh, but anyway, let them deal with that. So we'll get all this underway. Some of our large clients, some of our long-standing clients. We have, unfortunately, as usual, um, a number of client meetings that will probably end up in there else terminating services with them. And listen, great company, great people, but you know, they're at that level. Um, they need to get to that level, and then when they get to that level, they can engage us to go to the next level. So we don't really have the time to be wasting on, on companies like that. Again, lovely, great people. Um, but the, if you don't want to do it right, there's no point in engaging us. That's really the bottom line. So it's the middle of, what is it? It's the, six, it's the 16th of July, 2024, and this is the weather. On the 16th of July. Now, yes, it's early in the morning, but the weather is just absolutely shocking this year again. Anyway, let's go. Alrighty guys, so we are now back here in the Hollyhead Transport Hub for a number of meetings outside. <laughs> I'm now back in the Hollyhead Transport Hub. Number of very important and exciting meetings here that I uh, couldn't get in camera because the boys didn't want to be in camera. But one of the big things that we have here is the introduction of our new fuel site at Blue um, in conjunction with Apple Green. We are now a snap partner as well. And I'm going to take a wee look to see what sort of driving lessons going on here. Our new fuel station um, in conjunction partnership with Apple Green which takes all major fuel sorry um, all major UK fuel and continental fuel cards um, we've partnered up with snap so now we're a snap account holder if you're a snap account holder you can come on site get your fuel your ad blue your overnight parking your secure parking your shower facilities and um, your gym so you yeah, have a couple of sparks on surveyor has came and um, might have maybe a reel on our social media you might have seen it already so we had a lot of guys on, guys on site today about our planning um, about the survey of the site itself about the the planning the operational planning the construction so all should be in place by no later than the mid end September at the very very latest which is exciting times we're also expanding out our wash here and even on this facility so we'll be expanding out our wash as well just due to demand we have the whole front of the yard done now finished. So we've leveled off the whole entry itself for a lot of the low riding vehicles that come in. So between the likes of the lorries coming in with the bottom bars, butter, bottom splitters on them, we do a lot of livestock trailers, we do a lot of low loaders and specialised event trailers that come in that have low bumpers in the back, or even them beefy flaps. 
So we want the trailers coming in and out, low loaders, you know, four, six axle low loaders, extendables. But we want to make sure then that they're not bellying out or catching any of the equipment on the ground coming in or out off the site. So yeah. Right, let's go in here. We've three people in this office. We've got rid of two, I think, over the last couple of months. Um, but we've three in this office here. None of them want to be in camera, which is 100 percent yet. Um, and they've been camera some stage. So we'll respect that. Anyway. We need to get up and go because I need to make a boat here. So this is just a wee bit bigger than we can get into Loch Erne over here in Monaco.